Hey guys! Okay, so we just got home from town and I am just going to do a little poll with you for you guys. It isn't much because our financials are kind of tight, but I got some things that I really needed and yeah. So, um, first off, I got these. I bought two of them. I just simply love them. Simple, simply. Yeah, I love them. They are so good for if you go to bed and you just can't be bothered to wash your face and get your makeup off. Um, like I do a lot of times. I just wipe my face down with a couple of these. And then I got something I really didn't need but I wanted it. Um, I got this Lipton green tea strawberry cupcake and um, it's going to be interesting to see if these taste any good because I do struggle a little bit with Lipton's teas because I feel they have so little tea in their bags like this big bag and there's like that little amount of tea so I always use two of them in a cup. Hang on. I actually have one brewing right now. So I use two of them in a cup like this. And it smells a little bit funny but we'll see, we'll see. It smells kind of like vanilla strawberry cupcakes. So we'll see if I like it or not. And then we went to Vita, which is a pharmacy or um, drugstore here. Um, this one doesn't actually have medicines. Uh, they basically uh, decided to open one with only the makeup and hair colour, shampoo side of, of that pharmacy. So they don't have medicines. You can't get your prescriptions filled there. But I decided to get these this is John Frieda uh, Frizzies for straight ahead um, straight head yeah because I have straight hair and I got the shampoo and the conditioner and I'm really looking forward to trying these these are actually of the most expensive shampoo and conditioners I've ever bought and these were cheap they were put down from 119 Norwegian kroners with is about 12 pounds to uh, 79 kroners which is about eight pounds so I decided to get them because I need a new shampoo and conditioner and then I um, have been using this uh, makeup remover uh, I can't remember who it's from but I kind of didn't like it for mascara because it was so hard to get mascara off even non waterproof mascara so I decided to get this one at H&M and try it out and I really like this because there's like this oily part up here and then there's another liquid down here I've tried a similar one before and really liked it because it took even uh, waterproof mascara really easily and what you do is you just shake it up and then you use it so it gets this lilac color um, so gonna be interesting to test that one out and then last but not least I got this little pouch um, this costs like two pounds so yeah um, and it contains scrub for your nails a small nail file a nail buffer and I actually think it's a file as well yes it's a file and then it's the buffer so um, yeah and then it has this one in it as well it has that side there and then that one this is it's not soft soft but it's more soft than, than hard plastic so I got those um, yeah and that was what I got in town today apart from groceries so now I'm gonna take my
my tea go sit down and maybe knit a little so i love you guys so much bye see you soon